Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amora and today I have a really unique um, little box. I was actually trying to make a different kind of box and it didn't turn out and so I created this one. But look how cute it is. So it's a little bit different. Um, I haven't really seen any out there like this. Um, some have the similar shape but I didn't have any with a lid and I thought it was really cute and also if instead um, you want to put a little handle on it I'm kind of calling it my little picnic basket box because it kind of looked like a little picnic basket to me and the way it opens is you just need to slide the ribbon you can use a belly band too for this but um, I like the ribbon on it and it opens like this so it's got pretty good amount of room for some treats but it's really cute um, this one is lovely lipstick and it doesn't really stay down that's the only thing that one thing you can do is you can put a little magnet under here if you just want to use it like this and you know put some different embellishments on it but um, I didn't do that I just wanted to use the belly or the little ribbon on it because I love this ribbon and I wanted to use the, this ribbon but um, yeah so this is what I am sharing today and I was going to say something else but I totally forgot my mind went in another direction but as we go I'll show you the most important important part of this is the way we cut it um, so and score it you have to score it accurately for the lid to fit properly so let's get started. There's really nothing hard about it. Um, this piece is 10 and a half by 6. This is lovely lipstick. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. The designer series paper I'm using is this All My Love designer uh, series paper. You've seen me use this quite a bit during um, Valentine's Day. And the patterns are all gorgeous. We're going to use this pattern this time because I had some scrap and I, you only need a few um, small pieces to mat it and I didn't want to cut another piece and this piece was pretty big so I just used some other ones so we are using this designer series paper this time this pattern and these two pieces are one, two and one eighth by one and seven eighths and then there's these two pieces are which I cut one little bit I think a little bit too wide yeah I need to cut this it's got to be one half by one and three eighths so I'm going to grab my trimmer really quick because it looks like that one is a little bit too wide. And I'm just going to make sure I have this at one half so it fits the little thing easy. And it's just about an eighth of an inch too wide. So let's see. Yeah. All right. So I think we're good now. So let's go ahead and score these, this, and I'm going to use my Simply Scored for this because um, I found that it helps in being able to get all your score marks just right on here. Okay, so we are going to score it on the six inch side at one half, at two, at four, and at five and a half. And then you're going to turn it, and on the ten and a half side, ten and a half inch side, you're going to score it at one half, two and three quarters, four and three quarters, six and a quarter, and eight and a quarter. So there's a lot of score marks on here. So you're going to really have to pay attention to where we are cutting. All right, so I'm going to get ready here, and hopefully you can see all these score marks. So this is the little half inch side right here. So what we're going to do on this one is we are going to actually create a little tab here. So we're going to cut it. Here's the score mark right here. We are going to cut it about a half inch from there. And then you're going to cut across here. And then we're going to cut this little square right here off. I'm going to angle that so I have a little bit of a tab there. So we're going to do the same on these. 
these don't have to be perfect because they're going to be inside the box and then um, so here's our like a little tab that we created there and we're going to do the same on this side and cut up here we're going to cut in here and then we're going to cut this little tab off so it's going to look look like that I'm going to make this a little bit shorter because I have the other side shorter try to make them even it's it doesn't have to be perfect just for um, looks actually because <laughs> function wise it'll it's gonna it'll work all right and then we're gonna cut up each one of these side ones And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to create a little tab here. So here's our little tab. And cut through all the way through on that one. So we have the two tabs, on one on this side and one on the other. And now we're going to cut up these two. And this is the trickiest part of them all, and it's not really tricky. You need your ruler and you need a um, pencil. And what you're going to do is you are going to go from this top part right here. Now we have a little um, score mark here. It's not going to matter. We want to go from this corner all the way to this corner. And I marked them just to make them more accurate. We're going to cut these off. So we're going to do it on all four of these. Sorry about my dog barking there. And then we're going to do this side as well. And then we're going to cut on those lines we just created. And it's going to be on the inside. If you want to erase them later, you can. Um, my other one, I didn't even draw. I just cut. Um, but I wanted to show you um, the easier way. If you don't have a large pair of scissors, it's easy, easier to mark it and then cut it. So we're cutting on an angle like this on all four sides. Alright, so that is, that's all our cutting. Now what we're going to do here, and we're leaving these little um, score marks here, it's not going to matter. What we're going to do is I'm going to grab my little circle, or my corner rounder here, and I'm going to just round these little corners, just on the middle one. So that's it. We're going to just sharpen all our score marks now, and we will be ready to put it together. These are going to the outside, because that's going to be on the inside of our box, and I'll show that, you that in a minute. So that's why I am sharpening going the other direction. This one, I actually would cut down a little bit further. It just makes it easier for it to slide into place with a little bit more room there. So that's the side that has that little um, tab on it. Alright, so now to get this together, these are going to be on the inside and the best thing to use is Tombow your, or any kind of wet glue. So you are going to pull these up and you're going to line it up to um, this little score mark on this piece right here. It, it's just easier, we're going to add adhesive here, it's just easier um, to just kind of eyeball it that way. You want these straight and I'll show you here in a second. 
So you want this line here to be straight across. And then we're going to pull this side up and we're going to do the same. Line it right up to your other one. And you're going to have to hold it for a minute if you use the wet glue. And then you're just going to put adhesive on this little flap and you are going to fold it over. Don't worry if it um, goes over a little bit, it's going to dry clear. So can you see how I did that right there? We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So I'm going to put adhesive here and we're going to line this up. I just use that little line as a guide to keep it straight. And then you're just going to put a little bit more on this side and line this one up. Line it right up to your other one. And then just add a little bit more adhesive. So you can see the little part that is scored at the top here isn't even going to show. And then you're going to fold it over just like you did the other side. And now we are going to put on, mat our pieces. So on these little pieces, I did take my little um, corner rounder and I rounded those as well on the two bottom pieces. So that it matches up to the side. And we're going to do the same thing with this other one. It's a little bit hard getting it in there. But because it's so little. All right, now we're going to adhere those to the side here. And they don't go all the way across. I did that on purpose, but if you'd like them, just make it about a, uh, maybe a quarter inch longer if you want it to cover the whole thing. I just wanted it to kind of leave a little border around the edge. Here's the other one. And then we're going to mat the two top pieces. like I may have gotten this a hair long. I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit off because it looks a little bit long. Let me remeasure that. It's This says uh, 2 and an eighth by 1 and 7 eighths. Yeah, I must have <laughs> measured wrong when I cut it because that's the correct measurement I gave you. All right, and then we're going to do the other side. I should make sure I did this one right. One and seven eighths, two and an eighth. And then this piece goes on here. Alright, so if we did this right and everything measures out, this should fit in here. And sometimes you have to play with it just a hair, but it should fit in there just right, just like that. So if you see how that closes. And that's why you need um, a belly band. Or if you want to put a little magnet, you can do that too. It, pro it would hold it down. And make sure this these little edges are... Um, creased really well. Alright, so I'm going to grab my ribbon, and the ribbon is from this two-pack All My Love Ribbon Combo Set. I love this, this one right here. It's the lovely lipstick. And we're going to tie a bow. Normally I need two hands for this, <laughs> but you know how I am with ribbons, but hopefully we'll get this the first time. All 
Okay, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and I may make it a little bit smaller. I think I had my other one a little bit smaller. I think it's cuter a little bit smaller. And if you don't want, if you want to put a little handle on it, you can go ahead and do that. Cut this a little bit more. These would be really cute for Mother's Day, too. The stamp sets, I didn't even show you the stamp sets that I'm using for the sentiment is the Tea Together. And I'm using this little rosebud. And then I'm using the For You. But you can definitely use the Happy Mother's Day. It would be really cute. Or even this Hello and the Butterfly. There's so many options with these two sets. So what I did was I already ran a couple through just in case I mess up. In with our stitched ovals so these this is our stitched um, framelits and it comes with the square circles and ovals and I'm using the second to the smallest and I already ran that through so it, I didn't have to take time to do that um, and then we are going to go ahead and stamp with the memento black we're going to stamp the for you And then we're going to do the little rose. I love this little rose. It's so pretty. And we're going to use our blends to color it in. I'm going to use the lovely lipstick. Um, nothing fancy here. I'm going to outline it with the dark and then just use some of the light. going to use some of these um, happiness blooms little enamel dots and we're going to put a couple on the end here oh, got that one on my finger and I'm just using um, some a glue dot to put it on because I don't want to I want to be able to open this and close it without having to take off the, we'll use a couple. I think I just used some snail actually at the top of it, last the last one. So you're going to attach it just to this one side right there. Just like that. Isn't that cute? I love this little box. It's just so cute and it's it's unique. It's not, you know, your everyday. And it does take a little bit more effort, but it's really cute. So here are the two that I made. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop for my blog. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. It really helps me. I just hope you all have a blessed day. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.